Imagine you've just received your first paycheck or maybe a small amount of money from a side job. You're excited, but you also wonder, how can I turn this into something bigger? What if I told you that with a bit of knowledge and patience, you could start on a path that could lead you to make your first million dollars? Investing is one of the most powerful ways to build wealth over time. It's not just for the rich or people with finance degrees. Anyone can learn how to invest, even if you're just starting with a small amount of money. In this video, I will show you how to start investing and make your first million. By the end of this video, you'll feel more confident about taking that first step into the world of investing. Whether you're new to personal finance or just looking to understand how to make your money grow, this guide is for you. Number one, understanding the basics of investing. What is investing? Investing is when you use your money to buy something with the hope that it will be worth more in the future. For example, you can invest in stocks, which are small shares of a company or in bonds, which are like loans you give to a company or the government. You might also invest in real estate, like buying a house or land. The goal of investing is to make your money grow over time. How does investing work? When you invest, you're basically putting your money to work. Instead of just saving it in a bank where it earns a small amount of interest, investing gives you a chance to earn more. For example, if you buy a stock and the company does well, the value of your stock goes up. You can then sell it for more than you paid, making a profit. However, investing also comes with risks. The value of your investments can go up and down, and sometimes you might lose money. That's why it's important to understand what you're investing in and be prepared for the ups and downs. The importance of financial education. Understanding how investing works is key to building wealth. The more you know about personal finance and investing, the better decisions you can make with your money. Financial education helps you understand the risks and rewards of investing so you can make choices that align with your goals. It also helps you avoid common mistakes, like putting all your money into one type of investment or panicking when the market goes down. By learning the basics of investing, you're taking the first step towards growing your wealth and achieving your financial goals. Number two, why you should start investing now. The power of compound interest. One of the main reasons to start investing as soon as possible is the power of compound interest. Compound interest is like a snowball rolling down a hill. It grows bigger and bigger over time. Here's how it works. When you invest money, you earn interest on it. Then, in the next period, you earn interest on both your original investment and the interest you've already earned. This process repeats, causing your money to grow faster and faster. Even small amounts of money can grow significantly over many years. The earlier you start, the more time your money has to grow. Building wealth over time. Investing is a long-term game. The stock market and other investments tend to go up and down in the short term, but over many years, they usually grow in value. By starting to invest now, you give your money more time to grow and recover from any short-term losses. This is how people build wealth slowly over time by consistently investing. Don't wait for the perfect moment. Some people wait for the perfect time to start investing, but the truth is the best time to start is now. The longer you wait, the less time your money has to grow. Even if you can only invest a small amount, starting now is better than waiting until later. The key is to begin, keep learning, and stay committed to your financial goals. Number three, how to start investing with little money. Start small. You don't need a lot of money to start investing. Many people think they need thousands of dollars to begin, but that's not true. Even if you have just $50 or $100, you can start investing. The key is to get started no matter how small the amount. Over time, as you add more money and your investments grow, you'll see the power of even small contributions. Low-cost investment options. There are several ways to invest with little money. One popular option is mutual funds or ETFs, exchange-traded funds. These are collections of many different stocks or bonds, which you can buy with a small amount of money. They give you exposure to a broad range of investments, which can reduce risk. Some companies even allow you to buy fractional shares, meaning you can purchase a portion of a stock if you can't afford a full share. Another option is using robo-advisors. These are online platforms that manage your investments for you, based on your financial goals and risk tolerance. Robo-advisors often have low fees and allow you to start investing with very little money. Setting up an emergency fund first. 
Before you start investing, it's important to have an emergency fund. This is money set aside to cover unexpected expenses, like medical bills or car repairs. An emergency fund gives you a safety net so you don't have to sell your investments when you need cash. Aim to save three to six months worth of living expenses before you start investing. The 50 slash 30 slash 20 rule. A good way to manage your money is by using the 50 slash 30 slash 20 rule. This rule suggests you should spend 50% of your income on essentials like rent and groceries, 30% on things you want like entertainment, and save or invest the remaining 20%. By following this rule, you can make sure you're setting aside money for investing regularly. Consistent contributions. One of the best ways to build wealth over time is to invest regularly. Even if you can only contribute a small amount each month, it adds up over time. This strategy is called dollar cost averaging, where you invest a fixed amount regularly, regardless of how the market is doing. This approach reduces the risk of investing all your money at once and helps smooth out the ups and downs of the market. By starting small and investing regularly, you can build your wealth over time, even if you're working with a limited budget. Number four, step-by-step -step guide to starting your investment journey. One, define your financial goals. The first step in starting your investment journey is to set clear financial goals. Ask yourself what you want to achieve with your investments. Are you saving for retirement, a house, or your children's education? Knowing your goals will help you choose the right investments and stay focused on the long term. 2. Choose the right investment account. Next, you need to open an investment account. There are different types of accounts depending on your goals. For example, a 401k or IRA is good for retirement savings because they offer tax benefits. If you want more flexibility, a regular brokerage account might be the right choice. Each account has its own rules and benefits, so choose the one that fits your goals best. 3. Research investment options. Before you invest, it's important to understand what you're buying. Research different types of investments like stocks, bonds, and mutual funds. Look at their past performance, risks, and how they align with your goals. If you're not sure where to start, consider investing in index funds or ETFs that track the overall market. These are less risky and offer good diversification. 4. Start small and stay consistent. Once you've done your research, start investing with a small amount of money. The key is to be consistent. Set up automatic contributions to your investment account each month, so you're always building your wealth. 5. Review and adjust regularly. Finally, review your investments regularly to see if they're meeting your goals. If needed, adjust your strategy, but avoid making changes based on short-term market movements. Stay focused on your long-term goals. Number five, common mistakes to avoid when starting to invest. One, trying to time the market. One of the biggest mistakes beginners make is trying to time the market, buying when they think prices are low and selling when they think prices are high. This is very hard to do even for experts. Instead of trying to guess the best time to buy or sell, it's better to invest regularly and hold on to your investments for the long term. This way, you benefit from the overall growth of the market. 2. Investing without a plan. Investing without a clear plan is like going on a trip without a map. You might get lost along the way. Before you start investing, set clear financial goals and create a plan to reach them. Know how much risk you're willing to take and stick to your plan, even when the market is unpredictable. 3. Panic selling. When the market goes down, it's easy to panic and sell your investments to avoid losing more money. However, selling during a downturn often means locking in your losses. Remember that the market naturally goes up and down. It's important to stay calm and stick to your long-term plan, even when things look bad in the short term. Avoiding these common mistakes will help you stay on track and make the most of your investments. Number six, how to know when to start investing. Assess your financial situation. Before you start investing, make sure your financial situation is stable. Ask yourself these questions. Do you have a steady income? Have you paid off high interest debts like credit cards? Do you have an emergency fund with enough money to cover three to six months of living expenses? If you can answer yes to these questions, you're likely ready to start investing. The best time to start is now. There's no need to wait for the perfect moment to start investing. The earlier you start, the more time your money has to grow through the power of compound interest. 
even if you can only invest a small amount, beginning now is better than waiting. Remember, it's time in the market, not timing the market, that helps you build wealth over the long term. So, if you're financially ready, now is the best time to start investing. Starting to invest is a powerful way to build your wealth and achieve your financial goals. Remember, you don't need a lot of money to begin. Every little bit counts. By understanding the basics of investing, you can make smart decisions that help your money grow over time. The power of compound interest means that the earlier you start, the more your investments can grow. Setting clear goals and choosing the right investment accounts are important steps in your journey. Now is the perfect time to take the first step towards your financial future. Start small, stay committed, and watch your investments grow. With patience and the right strategies, making your first million is an achievable goal. Take control of your finances today and begin your investment journey. Now, if you want to learn how to achieve financial success, then watch this video next. If you made it to this point in the video, please like and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.